afternoon, friends. So today I'm going to share my next video. And this uh, video is my video. This is technical technical in this sense. I'm sharing this video with the relation to the product life cycle management. PLM, as you know, PLM is a product life cycle management software that is in the manufacturing and uh, industries and various companies that use PLM in the PLM software that is in the PLM software. So, this is the usage. Basically, PLM is the usage that is mainly concerned with uh, engineering uh, companies. Se, jo ki, जिन में डिजाइन और इस तरीके की प्रोसेसेस यूज होती हैं इंजीनियरिंग प्रोसेसेस सो मार्केट में आज के डेट में बहुत से सॉफ्टवेयर हैं जैसे कि आप लोगों ने सुना होगा विंडचिल सुना होगा आपने आप लोगों ने इनोविया सुना होगा ऐसे ही बहुत से ढेरों और भी सॉफ्टवेयर्स हैं जो कि पीएलएम की कैटेगरी में आते हैं तो आज हम बात करेंगे उसी की एक टर्मिनोलॉजी की जो कि होती है आपने जैसे जो भी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग से लोग जुड़े हैं उन लोगों को पता होगा कि जो प्रोडक्ट होता है कोई भी कंपनी प्रोडक्ट जो मैन्युफैक्चर करती है तो उसका मैन्युफैक्चरिंग से पहले वो जो है उनका एक जो भी उसमें आइटम जो यूज होती हैं वो एक बिल ऑफ मटेरियल्स जो है जिसको कहते हैं आपने जो सुना होगा बिल ऑफ मटेरियल बॉम करके तो बॉम जो है एक कॉमन टर्मिनोलॉजी है जो कि एक यानी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री जो भी यूज करती है कोई भी प्रोडक्ट है उसका डिजाइन रहता है डिजाइन मींस उसके पार्ट की ड्राइंग्स रहती है उसमें डायमेंशंस रहती है स्पेसिफिकेशंस रहते हैं जैसे ही जो प्रोडक्ट हम बना रहे हैं सो so, उसको बनाने के साथ-साथ में उस प्रोडक्ट में कितनी क्वांटिटी हर एक आइटम की लगेगी उसका मेजरमेंट क्या होगा का स्पेसिफिकेशंस एट्रिब्यूट्स जो है सारे रहते हैं तो पहले का जो कांसेप्ट था आज से पहले के लिए आ, हम कुछ साल पहले की बात करें तो एक ही तरह का बिल ऑफ मटेरियल जो था हम यूज करते थे जिसको बिल ऑफ मटेरियल सिंपल भाषा में कहा जाता था लेकिन आज की डेट में अगर हम देखेंगे तो प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजमेंट के आने के बाद इन सॉफ्टवेयर्स के आने के बाद जो टर्मिनोलॉजी है वो थोड़ा सा चेंज हुई तो मैन्युफैक्चर में बिल ऑफ मटेरियल्स जो होते हैं हमारे दो तरह के बिल ऑफ मटेरियल जो आपने सुने होंगे एक होता है इंजीनियरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल और एक जो है दूसरा होता है मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल तो कई लोगों के दिमाग में आता है जब वो सुनते हैं कि ये इंजीनियरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल क्या है और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल क्या है उनमें डिफरेंसेस क्या है व्हाई देयर इज अ नीड ऑफ मेकिंग टू बिल ऑफ मटेरियल्स इफ वी कैन हैव वन बिल ऑफ मटेरियल सो इसका रिक्वायरमेंट क्यों है सो बेसिकली बिल ऑफ मटेरियल जैसे कि नाम जो है दोनों को एक है इंजीनियरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल एक है मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल इंजीनियरिंग बिल ऑफ मटेरियल से जो जो लैंग्वेज है इंजीनियरिंग बेसिकली हम कहते हैं डिजाइन को जो इंजीनियरिंग बेसिकली डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग जो है कोई डिजाइनर है अगर आप देखोगे आज की डेट में मेनी मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज जो है आज की डेट में मार्केट में है जिनकी डिजाइन सेंटर्स जो हैं आउट ऑफ मान लो इंडिया में जो कंपनी है कई मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज जो हैं उनके डिजाइन सेंटर्स में भी वो बाहर ग्लोबल अदर कंट्रीज में ओवरसीज में उनके डिजाइन सेंटर्स हों और वहां पे जो डिजाइन प्रोफेशनल्स हैं जो प्रोडक्ट इंजीनियर्स हैं जो डिजाइनर्स हैं जो प्रोडक्ट को डिजाइन कर रहे हैं वो बहुत ही रिमोट remotely they are associated with manufacturing field or a design center there can be a centralized design centers also so a design center jo ki man lo usa mein america mein baithe hain america mein located hai wahan pe design center hai kisi company ka xyz company ka to uski different manufacturing entities jo hain yahan asia mein india china or even africa or Europe, there can be manufacturing, uh, there can be many manufacturing base or units, you can say production units will be there. So, unka product jo hai wo standard hai. Basically, they are making, suppose, any uh, computers, suppose, or laptops. So, jo designer hai, designers are sitting at a 
uh, the uh, uh, USA location like New York or uh, any other uh, site design center. So they are designing common product for the different manufacturing uh, uh, locations like India, China. So यहीं से ही हम इसको पहला जो इसका संकेत है हम यहीं से ही हम इसको distribute and distinguish कर सकते हैं कि engineering bill of material जो है designer ने वहाँ से बनाया है तो designer ने अपने हिसाब से design specifications जो जो उसमें part लगने चाहिए उस तरीके से उसमें bill of material में डाले हैं और अगर हम बात करेंगे based on the different manufacturing locations there can be the different manufacturing bill of materials, M bombs, that we say at M bombs. Suppose uh, America may design center has to a e bomb pula or uske respect me multiple jo manufacturing sites hai. suppose India, hai, China, hai, Brazil, hai, Africa, mein hai, South Africa, then Kenya, think different manufacturing bill of materials. Jo ho, okay. So, I have a presentation of two slides. So, I will want to share that. You can see that you can see that. So, I have shared that on the screen. So, this is an example of how we transform E bomb to M bomb. So, <clears throat> so, this is the e bomb basically. E bomb is the engineering team designs the structure and the parts that would be relevant to the structure. Now, there's a coy base plate assembly, a kissing product, product has the base left. So, the base plate assembly has me a part and black back flange, front flange, support metal plate, screw M10 into 40 base metal plate left base metal plate right side flange one two three four five six seven seven parts are there in this assembly so um, so up take para young is pinky ache jo base plate assembly to designer design ki hai usme different parts to hand your child part hand is the parent assembly can each Six, uh, seven, uh, part hai, child parts. <coughs> so, what is M bomb? So, manufacturing strategy can be different. So, one to have different factory wise. Tha. I have explained here that I will explain again. So, manufacturing strategy can be uske base pe manufacturing. Suppose my India and Vietnam, what is my strategy? Kya base plate assembly jo designer ne design kiya usko karne ki to base plate assembly ko main pehle base plate ek sab assembly ek part banaunga side flange back flange front flange jo isme define hai unko waise hi same parent ke andar dalunga aur back plate sab assembly ko ek alag se part define karke uske sab part banenge so that is my manufacturing strategy that I need to make uh, one base plate subassembly offline by making these parts by uh, taking these parts like base plate right left screw support plate so a sub assembly is key banegi uske saath mein. then us sub assembly base plate sub assembly ko side flange Back flange or front flange ke saath assembly karke is base plate ke assembly. Bane. So this is my one strategy. Okay. So based on the manufacturing process, M bomb is restructured from the initial E bomb that is redesigned. So this is the flat. So <clears throat> I can make one sub assembly and other parts. There can be different. Uh, manufacturing processes at different sites based on the processes. So, uh, <clears throat> this I have explained that, like designer, uh, just say has designed one of the uh, product like base plate assembly. 
So we are having a factory one that is in India location and factory two at the Brazil location. So I can have a one M bomb for factory one and one M bomb for factory two. So uh, Winchell allows both design and manufacturing engineers to modify the respective bill of material and maintain SSA bond links, equivalence links between the two. This is made to design of product or chemical manufacturing and practice such changes are immediately known. <laughs> so, so there is uh, equivalence link. Uh, between the engineering bill of material parts and the manufacturing bill of material parts. So any uh, change or any change to made to the design of uh, any part or a product are communicated to the manufacturing uh, engineers. <coughs> so, So this is the process of imam to imam. So hope you have liked that you came to know what is the difference between the imam and the imam, how we transform and uh, why there is a need of uh, uh, different uh, imam and imam structures. So apart from this, uh, I will add one more thing that uh, so designer do not know so about uh, the sourcing strategy. One is the manufacturing process strategy and another is the sourcing strategy. So in this, uh, uh, the manufacturing bill of material takes care of the sourcing strategy like uh, either uh, suppose for the factory one and uh, for any factory two, there can be a different sourcing strategy. So factory one, what is sourcing strategy basically? Suppose there are different parts like back flange, front flange. Suppose I'm having a capacity and capability to make that part like back flange. Uh, for the factory one at the uh, in-house level. So they are having the uh, machines, they are having processes in Suppose uh, for the back flange, they are not having uh, capability at the factory two, and they are not having the sufficient uh, machinery and the equipment at the factory two. So the sourcing strategy will be different. So at the factory one, the uh, sourcing will be the end sourcing, that is the make part make type of strategy, and for the factory two, it will be the buy type of strategy. So that is also taken care at the manufacturing bill of material level, uh, not at the engineering bill of material level. So this is one of the significant change and the uh, difference between the EBOM and the MBOM. And uh, so, and also if, uh, as you know, if at the factory one, it is in-house, suppose this uh, back flange, I want to make it in-house. So, so I'm having the capability of uh, making it in-house. So I need to put, I need to put the raw material like for which, like uh, the GP sheet, uh, like other consumable scrap, what is needed to make that back in the manufacturing bill of material. And for the factory too, it is totally outsourced. So I don't need to put the raw material uh, as you will, and it's bill of I do not need to prepare its bill of material. So hope you guys uh, uh, have cleared what I have said. So this is a basic difference of E-bomb to M-bomb. And I would like to share more videos uh, on this topic to clarify more in the future also. So this is just a start. So I'm starting my uh, YouTube channel with this. So hope you like this and you need to like.
and subscribe to the channel thank you thank you